Seagrass is one of the most valuable plants on our planet. It provides oxygen, nurseries for commercially important fish, and protects our coastline against erosion, all while absorbing huge quantities of carbon dioxide. Join us as we trial innovative technology to help accelerate the success of our large-scale Blue Meadows project. So this is super important because seagrass is a massive habitat to so many commercially important fish species within the area. So not only is that support in the local economy, but also the, just the overall biodiversity of the ecosystem as well. Today, we're going out to our main restoration site at Jennycliffe Bay for the latest round of hydromarine seeding, or HMS for short. We've developed an underwater injection device known as HMS Octopus, no, just as a means off. for divers to plant seeds in situ. On a southwest direction. Okay, We've drawn so inspiration for our planting from widespread use of direct seed injection methods used in intertidal seagrass restoration. These are the, uh, the little nuggets of hope. So these are the seagrass seeds um, that we've collected from various places, places like Lou, the Solon, um, St. Hostel, and um, these are what we've been putting into our magical glute mix and injecting into the sea seabed. Um, and uh, hopefully they will germinate in, uh, in the next month. These are where it all begin. Yeah, sure way. Yeah, I've surveyed seagrass before, but I've never planted it. On this end, please. So we have six divers on board and they will jump in the sea with our seed mix and, and then pump it into the sediment. And in a few months time, we hope to see those seeds coming through and these little plantlets. And then we'll keep going back to our restoration site to watch them grow and hopefully create a seagrass bed. A short trip from the National Marine Aquarium, we reach our planting and restoration site where we've established England's largest seagrass planting program. Jenny Cliff is on the on the eastern side of the of Plymouth Sound, and it was picked as a as a restoration site. I mean, firstly, it, I mean it is convenient; it's very close to where we operate out of the National Marine Aquarium. But it's also got the right conditions for seagrass, and crucially, there was a seagrass bed here in the past, um, and there are still little pockets here. Um, so what we're trying to do is, is establish a, a significant bed once more. So here we're mixing our seed into an agar and sand uh, mix. So these ratios were kind of tested and trialled in the lab quite a few times to get it to kind of the perfect consistency. And then when the divers are pumping it, it injects this into the seabed, and that agar will kind of acts as a sticky. Um, solution medium to like hold it into the seabed. She still sits quite high, but that'll be pretty much all the way down. So hopefully it'll be another successful day of uh, HMS deployment. So we've been at this site quite a few times this year already. Um, and then if that all goes to plan, we will then end up doing some monitoring if we've got time and hopefully we'll see some growth from previous deployments. The task for divers today is to inject seeds using the HMS Octopus along transects covering the predetermined area identified for restoration. It's probably going to be a few months, so probably two months, we'll actually start seeing some significant growth. And at that point, we'll be going back along the line that they've been swimming today and laying a transect out. We'll be putting quadrets, so a specific area will be laid down next to the tape measure and we'll have a look at how many plants are growing. We'll measure the leaves, we'll measure the number of plants and that will give us an idea of the plant health and also the uh, success of this injection. The thing that's driven the interest in recent years is blue carbon, so it's an, it's an incredibly effective habitat at sequestering carbon. Um, you hear the, the figure bandied around about three, 35 times more efficient than uh, rainforest. That's that's not the species that we have here in the UK, but um, it is still a very good habitat for sequestering carbon, and that's both through the growth of the plants themselves, locking carbon into their structure, but also the, the really big thing that the seagrass does, it's really good at trapping floating organic matter, locking that carbon into the, into the seabed. Disaster strikes. The conditions put a unique technology through its paces, and unfortunately, not all of the devices survived their first outing. So we're about halfway through the day and we are, we've achieved eight 
octopus, we've like emptied them out of 25. So 25 would be half a hectare. Um, that we have had some major problems with breaking. So um, we've used these octopus a few times. They've been through a few different trials, uh, but we've not ever really experienced any like breakages that we've experienced today. We've had like little niggly bits that have properly broken off. But um, unfortunately, uh, today we have seen some actual uh, pieces break off. Well, it's just one of the levers, this rod on the return lever. It's snapped off in the course, in the line of duty, uh, but we can adapt. Every problem is surmountable. Despite these setbacks, seeding continues at pace, with greater determination to get as much as possible done by the end of the day. There's a lot of seed that's in the ground right now, which is great, and it means that in a few months' time they'll start growing. And we've also been able to go to a new site in Jenny Cliff that we've never planted before. So um, we've had some cameras running along the ground to ensure that we've got footage of this bare ground that hasn't had seagrass on before. And then we've started um, planting just after that. So we've got some really nice footage from that as well. And divers all seem very happy. We've got no um, divers who don't want to get back in the water, which is always, if they don't want to get back in, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, and everyone seems to just be enjoying the day despite the rain. There's, it's fair to say that there's been an explosion of um, interest in seagrass over the last five, ten years, particularly in the last five years. And now there's, there's, um, you know, it's very positive. There's, there's groups all over the country working hard to, to um, protect and restore seagrass. Um, most of that effort is intertidal. So this is um, one of the, if not the most uh, extensive effort for subtidal seagrass restoration. I think today went really, really well. I mean, we, we got pretty much the target that we wanted to, despite uh, a lot of actually breaking and bits and pieces falling off that we weren't expecting. If the HMS technique proves effective for planting seagrass, we will consider ways to automate, such as repurposing underwater cable laying robots as seed sowers. This is all very much um, the first stage of quite a, a novel idea of injecting seeds into the ground and we've really taken it to the next level by making it subtidal and by having such an ambitious target for just this project. So the Ocean Conservation Trust plans to upscale this and make, a, make it possible to restore huge areas. We're at this critical point where we have a new tool, a new technique and we think it's the next step to upscaling subtitle seagrass restoration in the UK. It's a really exciting moment.